Hey, uh, so it's been a while, at least more than a month since my uh, last video update, and I wanted to update uh, everyone on my progress. So for the last month, uh, a lot has gone on since July, today is July 18th, and last month was June 18th. Uh, that was the week of my last uh, radiation treatment for the last week for both radiation and chemo. Uh, so the Saturday night before the 18th, uh, my throat was starting to hurt really bad and it was like the worst sore throat I ever felt and that was the last day I was able to drink a hundred ounces of water by myself it was so bad that um, even when I was drinking the water oh it, it hurt um, and the other thing I was drinking also was the uh, insure shakes I couldn't swallow uh, them because not only did it hurt, but it felt like it was burning inside my throat area. And then the texture of the, sh that was the, from the texture of the shake. Uh, so by that time, I haven't been any eating any solids because I couldn't taste it and that part kind of sucked too. Uh, <clears throat> following the next day, the Sunday, before the Monday, the June 18th, uh, I wasn't able to get down much water at all. Uh, so I was also doing terrible that day. Uh, so when Monday the 18th came around, I was super dehydrated. Uh, good thing when I went in for my radiation treatment, I had to see the radiation doctor every Monday. And he ordered, he ordered that I needed three liters of liquid immediately. And that was already after the radiation. Usually I have uh, radiation first and I see him on that Monday. Um, by that time it was already close to noon, so I know uh, each liter takes about 90 minutes to get inside my body. So three liters is going to be about maybe four, four and a half hours, the fastest. He also prescribed me, uh, what was it, some medication uh, for throat pain, uh, hydrocodone, and this thing called magic mouthwash. So hydrocodone, I have to take around every four hours, but then it would, uh, I won't feel the pain in my throat for around two. And the magic mouthwash just basically numbs this area while I'm trying to get some uh, liquid or food in if I could. So that'll help a little bit, not, but not too majorly because the magic mouthwash lasts about maybe 30 minutes, maybe hour the most. Uh, so I was mostly at the hospital for that Monday, June 18th. And, uh, and my last chemo was at Tuesday, June 19th. Uh, so that morning off, you know, I usually have to get my blood work done and check before I even start chemo. Uh, my white blood cell level was so low that I was not able to do the chemo. Since it was last chemo, the doctor said that I could actually skip the last one since I had gone to six in a row. Man, that felt so good to hear. Uh, but he did say I need a PICC line, uh, P-I-C-C, put in because I would need to have, since you know, I know about the uh, not being able to drink problem and I need to make sure that I stay hydrated, I needed two liters of liquid in my body daily and uh, that's something I could uh, do at home and they could have a service set up for me. So I needed a PICC line in my arm. Um, and the doctor also prescribed me the fentanyl patch, uh, about 25 mg, which is a very powerful pain reliever that I have to change out myself every three days. I did some research and, you know, both of the hydrocodone and the fentanyl patch is considered a narcotic. Um, and somewhere I read that the fentanyl patch is even more powerful than heroin. So that's probably some powerful stuff. Uh, but that's just what I read from Google. Uh, so the pick line didn't take long to put in since I was at the hospital anyway. It's just a different building. Uh, it's something that they consider a uh, day surgery. Um, so after that was done, that took about, well, the waiting time was about like 45 minutes because, you know, it's like a routine procedure. Like the nurses come and ask you open the questions. That was about 45 minutes. And then the pick line maybe took like 15, 20 minutes to put in. And after that, I needed to use the restroom. And when I was heading there, I felt like a cold chill all over my body. I never felt like that before. I felt like 
I was really cold. Not that not that the hospital was not, you know, not that the hospital was too cold, but that it, my body was feeling really, really cold myself. It only lasted a few seconds. I didn't think nothing of it at the time, but I did tell my wife Heather about it. And um, since I just got the pick line in, nothing was really set up for Wednesday. Where I can put the two liters of liquid at, at home, which I always stay at the hospital also for two more liters. So I stay at the hospital individually Monday, Tuesday, and now I'm also back on Wednesday since the uh, IV was in my arm, but the liquid was not set up uh, at my house yet. So I still have to go to the hospital for the third day in a row after my radiation treatment. So I have to get uh, some more liquid after that. Uh, good thing the pick line was in, which made it easier for the nurses to put the IV device to the pick line because uh, during the last few weeks of the chemo, uh, since the chemotherapy that mess uh, this platinum was so strong, it was making the, uh, the veins harder to find in my arm. And the last two weeks of my chemo treatment, one of those days it took over four different nurses, over an, uh, about an hour just to find a vein uh, so I can receive my chemo treatment. And now that um, the, the video's gone long, but now I'm gonna end on uh, what happened to me uh, Thursday, uh, June 21st, because I don't like the videos being so long. So uh, I'm gonna try to end it here as fast as I can in the next couple of minutes. I was ready to head out for my second to last radiation treatment. Uh, usually my dad and I head out around 8.15 or so because uh, to take my son to summer school. And then after we drop him off, we head on our way to the hospital. I was watching TV and right at eight o'clock in the morning, I got these cold chills and uh, I was not able to stop. Uh, oh, my body wasn't able to stop. It probably went on about 20, 25 minutes from 8, 8 a.m. Uh, during that time, uh, my dad took my uh, oldest son to summer school and I told him that like, hey, uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it over to make it and uh, I already told Heather she's on her way home to take me to the ER and um, while my dad was out my mom actually came to uh, gave me more blankets my dad already gave me a blanket at the time my mom gave me an additional blanket put that on me and she actually um, laid on top of me holding all the blankets together um, when I called Heather and let her know how I was feeling, I was shaking so much, I could barely use my hands or my fingers uh, for the phone to call her. So you could even tell um, that my mouth, teeth, or my voice was shaking really bad over the phone. Uh, so she called the doctor and um, they, advised us, they advised us to head over to the ER as soon as possible. Uh, whew, so by the time I uh, that's what, how I estimated the uh, coach who lasts about 20 25 minutes because Heather got her home around like 8 30 and and uh, the coach who's ended about like maybe five minutes before she got home to take me to the ER um, so since the video is taking very long I'm going to do another additional video about uh, more information and about my time in the hospital all right I'll see you guys on the next one